Louisville Tonight Live. Seattle gets the headlines, but is life in Louisville the real story? An ex Seattleite reveals why the River City outranks the Pacific Northwest. Then summer's most anticipated film is here. Just the facts on Mission Impossible. Plus, Kid Stuff sleeps with the dinosaurs at the Midnight Magic Camp-In. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kirby Adams. And I'm Bob Sikora. Thanks for joining us this evening. Well, you've heard the talk about the Pacific Northwest. What a beautiful place it is to live. Well, when it came out as the cover story on Newsweek magazine last week, I decided I had to give you my two cents. This is how you buy fish at Pike Place Market. And I can tell you from personal experience that from fish tossing to the incredible Cascade Mountain Range, Seattle is one unique place to live. And according to Newsweek magazine, everyone is moving to or has thought of moving to Seattle. But I did the opposite. I moved to Louisville from Seattle. A crazy thing to do, according to many of my Seattleite friends. Where would I mountain climb? Where would I kayak? How would I get my daily dose of espresso? Well, after three years in the River City, I'm living proof that there is life outside the Emerald City. Seattle's a great place if you like the 160 days of rain during the year. Seattle's a great place if you like the wonderful mountains around it, if you can see the mountains through the fog that, that is there generally most of the time. Seattle's a, a great place for a great cup of coffee, which you need to sort of keep the chill off your bones. I'll agree with our dear mayor. Seattle may be great, but we have just as much, if not more, to be proud of right here in the River City. And down the Let's start with the obvious. There is nothing that compares to the spectacle of the first Saturday in May. You bet your bippy. The first Saturday in May is here, Louisville, Kentucky. The world focuses on us. And every three years, the first Saturday in November, the Breeders' Cup. As for landmarks, sure, Seattle has the Space Needle left over from the 1962 World's Fair. But we're batting a thousand with our brand spanking new gigantic Louisville Slugger. We're also hitting them out of the ballpark when it comes to the house you can get for your money in Louisville. You couldn't get a tenth of this home for the same price in Seattle. As for traffic, Louisville wins hands down, due in part to the fact that our bridges stay down. The only traffic problems you have in Seattle is when the bridges are up. And if I get a hankering to throw fish, well, I could always jump on a plane. So what do we have to say to Newsweek? Seattle's a nice place, but Louisville is where you move to, where I've always lived, and where we call home. Everyone always asks, does it really rain as much as they say? Well, it does rain a lot, but I think the Seattleites talk it up to keep other people like you and me from moving in. And once you live there for a while, you just got used to being wet all the time. You bet your bippy. <laughs> if it was good enough for the mayor, it's good enough uh, for us to say.